Lydia Benjamin. Well, this is the second day of the Freedom Plaza occupation of D.C. And this also marks the beginning of 11 years of war in Afghanistan. So we're marking that occasion by coming to the D.C. headquarters of General Atomics, which is the maker of the Predator Killer Drones, the new robotic warfare that is killing people in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, and now we're starting to sell these killer drones to other countries as well. We're horrified by the whole idea of robotic warfare. Of course, we're horrified by war in general, but we think it's important to come here and tell General Atomics, shame on them, stop making these killer drones, and stop these wars. Anything else? What well, about the rally here in D.C.? What, what's going on about that? That's going to continue. Yeah, well, we had our first night sleeping out in the, in the plaza. Uh, amazingly, the police let us stay there. They said we couldn't have sleeping bags. We have sleeping bags. We brought, made a shanty town. I slept in a cardboard box. Um, and we're going to keep staying there and holding on to the plaza. We're very inspired by the people from New York. And we think it's important to be the D.C. reflection of the corruption on Wall Street to the corruption right here in the nation's capital. Places like General Atomics, they give the money to the politicians, both in the White House and Congress, and that gets us more war, more drones, endless cycle of violence. So the corruption of, from Wall Street to K Street is ruining our democracy, and in Freedom Plaza, we're going to keep that message going day in and day out. Thanks so much. Thank you. And your name? Um, I'm Jody Evans, co-founder of Code Pink, and I've just come to join Occupation K Street here in Washington, D.C. from Occupation Wall Street. It's so great to see the mass and diversity of people here in Washington, D.C. speaking out about what's happening in this city, about drone manufacturers, about the corruption on K Street that causes the corruption in Congress and in the White House. And they're fired up and they were able to spend the night outside um, just like at Liberty Square in New York. They were sleeping outside here in Freedom Plaza in D.C. And it's great, too, to see um, everybody teaching each other. I mean, what we're witnessing here is really a teach-in in front of General Atomics. And it's educating the Congress, it's educating the passers-by. I mean, this is one of the great secrets that's kept of this violent warfare that we have that we don't even talk about. Um, so, as in New York, here in D.C., it is the people speaking out and declaring what's actually happening, what we are giving our power over to. And so instead of demanding something back from them, it is time to teach them what they're doing, how they're devastating the planet, and taking our power back in the streets. Anything else, Joe? Thank you, no. Thanks so much. As they read about those wedding parties that have been killed,